Most of the area awoke to a blanket of wet, heavy snow. It was more than I expected, and shoveling that was just dreadful. Slow and steady there, little one. We're a little icy. Hardest hit was Union Grove, where nine inches fell, and local schools enlisted everyone in the snow removal process. Quite literally, I've had everyone from our custodians to our superintendents out here uh, laying down salt. Bright sunshine and warmer temps led to a quick meltdown. The sound of slush rang through the area, and fields, parks, and playgrounds turned into mud pits. And things could get worse. The melting snow combined with the possibility of rain throughout the week could raise some very serious concerns along area rivers. Communities around the area will keep close watch with a wet forecast for the days ahead. All of that water will have to go somewhere. And much of the rain and snow melt will simply puddle up on streets and sidewalks and turn soccer fields and ball diamonds into muddy messes. Puts a damper on softball and soccer. This park was under five inches of snow this morning. You can see behind me now almost all of it is gone, but the mud and the puddles that do remain are probably only going to get worse as the week goes on. And in communities all over the area, Joyce, I think folks are going to be keeping one eye on the forecast and one eye on local rivers. The well, sun felt so good today. All right, Kent Wayne Scott reporting live. And it is